For the spiky star by David Brill, we will need 24 sheets of paper and they all need to be A-sized. That means that the ratio between the short side and the long side has to be 1 by square root of 2. For example, you might use paper that has a short side of length 52.5 mm and a long side of length 74.5 mm. In inches, you might use paper that has a 2.5 inch short side and 3.5 inch long side. First, align the lower right point with the upper left point. And crease. Then take the left point and align it with the right point. And crease. Then unfold the paper again. Now along this diagonal crease connecting the two corners make a mountain fold. Next take this raw edge and align it with the top edge. And crease. Then turn the model around and do the same step again. Now take this edge right here and align it with the edge that is lying on top of the paper. And crease. Turn the model around and repeat the step. Now you can see that this crease, which is the first crease you created, stops right in this point. And there is one layer right here, and that layer of paper stops in this point. We're now going to take that one layer of paper and just curl it inside and then make a crease connecting this point right here with that point right there. And crease. Then turn the model around and do that step again. Now take this edge down here and align it with the top edge. You're folding that flap up as far as it goes. Turn the model around and do the same step again. Now unfold those flaps and unfold the model so it's like this again. You can see two creases here and they aren't on the back. So next we're going to push our finger on those creases to just fold along those creases again so that they will be on the back of the model too. Now these creases are also on the back and we only need to connect these points by a crease and these points by a crease. For this, make a mountain fold along the length of the model and then connect the points with a mountain fold. On the other side, do the same thing. Like so. Now you can also make a valley fold right on, on the diagonal of this diamond shape and your module is done. Each module has two flaps and two pockets. There is a pocket here, there's another pocket right there and next to the pockets there's flaps. Each flap is divided into thirds. The first third will go inside the pocket of another module. The second third is going to be on top of the pocket of the next module and the last third is going to be on the back of the pocket of the next module. Next we have to assemble 24 modules to get the star. 
For this observe that the star has four points, that is points where four modules are joined, and three points, that is points where three modules are joined. Each four point is surrounded by four three points, and each three point is surrounded by three four points. We're going to start by assembling three modules and then we will add modules to then get the star in the end. So first take two modules, this is one, and this is a second one, and put the first third inside the pocket, close the pocket again, and then wrap around the module. Take a second module, and again insert the flap into the pocket. Finally, to get the three point, connect the first and third module. Now you have a nice three point. You can stabilize it by pushing in each of these creases. Now add three modules to this flap to get a four point. Then go over to the next flap that is connected to one of the three points and also add three modules to get another four point. And finally, add another three modules to the last flap on that three point. Now you will find that flaps and pockets of adjoining four points are almost overlapping. We can now connect these. For example here, insert the flap into the pocket. Here again, insert the flap into the pocket. And one more time, insert the flap into the pocket. <laughs> 